transfer out to Minmus because we do need to be getting going to Minmus. And then I will have a look at those settings. Minmus is my target. Let's just go ahead and set... Nah, I'm going to set a note up here. And I'm just going to play with this one. Let's just see if we can get out to Minmus. Minmus is more difficult than the moon. Because Minmus actually has ascending and descending nodes on us, right? You can see that Minmus' orbit... Let me go ahead and do this. I think there was a moon or flyby. You can see that even though from the top, it looks like I've got out to Minmus... I'm not actually out to Minmus because Minmus is inclined. Look at it from the side. I'm missing it. Wow. Not only am I inclined up, it looks like, Minmus is also inclined down. So the first thing to check when you're going to Minmus, there's a lot of ways to do this. The first thing to check, there's an ascending node of 6.1. Let me go out here and just put my apoaps right there at the descending node. Did you see what I did there? The descending or ascending node in an orbit is the point in the orbit at which you actually cross it. And uh, say I'm like this. I've got an equatorial orbit, and Minmus is inclined like this. You can kind of see it here from the side, right? See it on the screen, the same thing I'm doing with my hands. See how Minmus is inclined? That means Minmus is inclined. These ascending or descending nodes is where those two orbits cross. It's the point where the two orbits cross. And what I want to do is flatten it out so I'm coplanar with Minmus. That is what an ascending or descending node is. The first thing I'm going to try is just see what happens if I loiter at the descending node. So this is a super easy way to get to Minmus, right? I'm just loitering at the descending node. I'm not even going to worry about fixing my inclination. Minmus is like this. I'm flat like this. I could match Minmus and then go out there. I don't have to, though. I can be smart about it. I can actually hit Minmus right there at the descending node, right there where it crosses my current orbit, right? Remember our trick. Right now, when I get out there, Minmus is going to be right there. That's not good. We're not gonna we're not gonna meet up with Minmus that way. What I want to do is right click on my node and wait an orbit. Wait an orbit. Wait an orbit. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, look how slow Minmus is. Come on, that's so annoying. Wait. Oh, like when I click on it, why does it go away? Wait, 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 wait. So basically what this is telling me is that if I wait quite a few orbits. Oops! That's the moon. That's a problem. <laughs> we could slingshot around the moon out to Minmus. It'd be awesome if we could do a lunar flyby on in route to Minmus, but uh, there is the lunar flyby. Where would Minmus be? Wow, Minmus would be way out there. Let's keep on waiting. Alright, now we're... Oh, look at that, y'all. We could almost get a lunar flyby. I'm not going to try it. That's a little bit more complex. I'm going to stick to... I'm going to stick to the uh, the mission, which is just go to Minmus. Let's keep on waiting. And I'm just waiting for Minmus to go around. This is basically telling me in five days, now in six days. Look how easy this is, right? It's so annoying that that node goes away. Good thing we can crash into the VAB. Ding! <laughs> Aha! That right there is a Minmus encounter. And did you see how easy that was? I mean, I can totally do it again if you want me to. That right there is a Minmus slingshot that would take me out of Kerbin Sphere of Influence. Let's go see if we have a Minmus. Ooh, that's actually a Minmus impact. That is a Minmus impact. And did you see what I did, right? I didn't try to meet up with Minmus when it was way up here on this end of the orbit. And I didn't try to meet up with it when it was way down there on this end of the orbit. I got nothing but time right now. Eight days worth of time. And I am going to just wait until Minmus is right there. And I'm going to time my burn so that I don't have to change my inclination whatsoever. I can just burn straight out there and meet Minmus at its ascending or descending node. Super easy. We're going to be going to Minmus again. <laughs> so, that is what I am going to... <laughs> this is something important while reading chat. Nope. <laughs> That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to execute this burn. We're going to wait for 8 days, 0 hours, 30 minutes. Really? Wow, that's actually interesting that it turned out that way. Couple different things we need to pay attention to here, right? My craft can't do the burn all at once. 711 in the tank, 918 for the burn. That means that while I'm doing the burn, I'm going to ha be having to manually transfer fuel out. I should have put fuel lines in. I messed that up. Um, but we can still we can still complete the mission. Part of this entire space thing, the Space Academy thing, is learning 
learning what's happening on the game so you can solve problems on the fly. We created a problem, as you do in Kerbal Space Program. We forgot some parts, some fuel lines. We can fix the problem. We can pump the fuel on the fly. We're still going to accomplish the mission. So, when that being said, let's put on Kerbal Alarm Clock. Let's add an alarm. I love you, Kerbal Alarm Clock. It automatically figures out that I've got that coming up. We're going to do it five minutes in advance. I'm going to click Add Alarm. That will keep me from zooming past it and let us go ahead and orbit Kerbin. Now I could, I could be sitting here watching the science alert thing. Ooh, I'm on the dark side of Kerbin too. We better point towards the sun. We better make sure we've got some solar panels pointed towards the sun. Where's the sun? There's the sun. Am I charging? Yes. What is charging me? All right, let's just go ahead and point towards the sun. I'm time warping, but let me point towards the sun because I don't have RTGs on here yet, right? I'm going to flip her over. Apparently, the command, the command torque in the pods is fine. Let's go ahead and point her towards the sun like that. That means that that solar array that I have will be able to get some of the solar power going. And we should be fine. Also, that's pretty close to where we're going to need to burn, so that's a good thing. And let's go ahead and F5 for safety. Double F5 for double safety, even though this isn't a very precarious situation. And I'm going to time warp. Max, I can, and I'm going to check the chat and see if I missed anything. Again, Kerbal Space Academy, I'm Toss Valdez. Ask me questions. If I do something too fast, if you want me to revisit something, if you want me to explain something that I just did again, like that whole Minimus encounter. Toss, you didn't, you didn't, uh, you didn't uh, change your inclination to match Minimus. Why not? Well, because I'm meeting Minimus at its descending node, where its orbit crosses my orbit so I can save the fuel. That's what's going there. Even if you don't enable it stopping a warp. Okay. Let me see if there's anything else here. Did I miss anything else? Click all the science. Near space report. Mm-hmm. I think it does. Let's go check that audible ding. T-game totally caught the, uh, the problem there with the fuel tanks. You are correct, sir. Paying attention. Dude, you're awesome. Totally paying attention to the readout from Kerbal Engineer and the readout from my maneuver node here. That is very awesome. Since it dings, that's better for me. I wouldn't know the star monitor. Okay. That's what the plus and minus symbols do. <laughs> Wait, what's what the... Oh, yeah. What just happened? Oops. Oh, it just dewarped me. Wow, okay. I was passing over something I hadn't gotten yet, and, and Science Alert apparently just dewarped me. Interesting. Let's continue on, but I missed it. It didn't dewarp me fast enough. Let me finish with the chat. Again, I want people to ask questions. I will answer questions. Plus one thing learned. Wookie here says, plus one thing learned. Performing the ejection burn to match planes with a target ascending descending node. You'll actually save some delta V. You'll be in a little bit of a wonky orbit around Minmus, but it will... Uh, actually, you won't. You can come in good at Minmus. Um, but I am glad that you did that. I don't stream. I do YouTube. Hey, Gruma. Hag, uh... I haven't checked out your YouTube. Send it to me in a message, and I'm happy to, pro to promote it on the channel after I check it out, dude. So just send me a message with the YouTube hag, and I will give it a check out, and I can add it to my channel list. I'll actually subscribe to you on YouTube. Bling! There! Oh, no! Every time I fly over that mountain range... All right, let's see if we can time warp. Stop warp on Discovery. That's interesting. Oh, it's got every different thing. Stop warp on dis I see... Ah, so you can, every individual thing, cool, okay, well that's interesting, not maxed, not collected, unresearched, interesting, global warp settings, by experiment, okay, global alert sound, always, oh, so it's got the animation, it's got enabled, it's got whether it plays a sound, I'm not, let me turn my headphones up, because I'm not really hearing the sounds, okay, well that blinged again, cool, science alert, let me go back to fast forwarding. We really haven't uh, fast forwarded through a day and a half. Let me see what else I've got here. Burn a bit sooner. I'm going to try to do it while the... Uh, there we go. There we go. It will, Claude, but I was checking chat. That's why I was doing it. You can easily miss it. That was going. A help desk on installing mods. CLP, that is a great idea. I will do a help desk on installing mods. I will absolutely do a help desk on installing mods. That is awesome. <laughs> It'll take seven hours. I was warping at this rate until I got to the until I got done with chat, and then I will go go faster. Go go faster. Sure, be hard to get on warp yet. Hag, got your message. Thank you. I will respond after I'm done streaming today. The shore will be hard to know. There it was. Get it. EVA report. It didn't EVA him. EVA. EVA report. What is it? 
Oh, I missed it. <laughs> so, those are uh, definitely hard to get, apparently, especially since I'm warping. I'm not going to worry about it. Minmus is a freaking science bonanza. So let's go ahead and uh, go out to the space center so that we can warp a little bit faster. Ugh, cold french fries are terrible. That's disgusting. Don't want any more of those. <laughs> Alright, so if you didn't know, if you're under 120,000 meters altitude, your max time warp is what, 50, 100x? Not very fast. If you're waiting for something like seven days in the future, that'll take forever. If you come over here, I hope science alert doesn't bother me. If you come over here, we can warp a lot faster. Man, what a ride. I almost really want another Dr. Pepper. Where's old Minmus out? Two days on the warp. One day on the warp. Five, four, three, two, one. Discreet. Time warp. Discreet. I love you, Kerbal Alarm Clock. If you don't have Kerbal Alarm Clock, link to it's down in my channel. It's so awesome. Such awesomeness. Well, look at that Minmus Pazinga going on. <laughs> a mid-course correction burn for cheaper to correct your inclination. You could. You definitely could. That would be cheaper. This warp needs some music. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure I'm pointing the right way. Control from there. Okay, that is... We're not pointing in the incorrect direction. Panel lock to watch my electric charge. That's where we're going to be going. What did it say the burn was going to be? I think the burn was going to be like a minute something. Wasn't it? Hmm. Anybody remember what the burn was going to be? <laughs> Warping. Seems legit. <laughs> It just spins it up, Muddy. It spins it up. Time is fleeting. <laughs> Let's see here. Good thing it's really much cheaper to fix inclination at Minmus. You are absolutely right, Zach. And usually when you're coming home from Minmus, you don't have to worry about your inclination as much anyways. I am just trying to go... <laughs> Look at this! It's not a mouse ear. It's like a wart or something sticking off the side of this sloth. Our craft kind of looks like a sloth or a mosquito. And it's got a wart sticking out from it. It looks like Zorak. <laughs> it looks like Zorak from freaking Space Ghost Coast to Coast. <laughs> 113, Claude Henry Smoot, thank you so much. 113, half of 113, remember we always split our burns in half. Half before the node, half after the node. Half of 113, that's 114, that's 7, 37 seconds. So we're just going to go on down to 37 seconds here. We're going to get this burn done, and we're going to see how fast I can transfer fuel. Oh, oh my gosh, I missed it. I warped past it. Whatever, go anyways. It's not like this is rocket science or anything. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is, as this tank burns... Oh, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to fill this tank up. And then after I fill... That's going to skew me a little bit. After I do about half the filling on that, I'm going to fill the other tank up. And I'm just going to keep doing that until this number is higher than that number. Alright, that's skewing me the other way, so let's fill this tank up. And now that number is higher than that number, so we're good to go. That's all we really needed to do, and I feel like we're balanced enough. My yaw is taking care of it. Let me go ahead and get on the burn here, because I'm a little bit off of it. I did botch the burn just a little bit, not going to lie. So we will do a mid-course correction. We'll be fine. There we go. How are we doing? Aha. We got it. We still got the encounter. And here's why we got the encounter. Let me turn off the trajectory mod. I'll talk more about that later. What is that? Moon encounter. Whoa! <laughs> we would... Time out. Time out. Look at that. Who knew? Look at that. We would slingshot past Minmus and go and get a moon encounter. That is pretty darn cool, honestly. I'm not going to leave it that way, because the mission is Minmus, right? Minmus is so much better for getting science than the moon. But that is freaking crazy that we're going to go out and slingshot past Minmus and go back to the moon. <laughs> How cool is that? That is totally cool. <clears throat> what number is higher? Ah, okay, lunchbox. Here you go. Um, Poison gold. Welcome back. 
we are definitely going to be farming some science on Minus. By the way, I dropped by your channel while you were offline, and I saw some of your Kerbal Space Program videos. I do that. I check up on my students. Um, <laughs> but that is definitely awesome that we were going to get a Mooner encounter. Also that you're here. So let's see here. Lots of fuel poison. Ah, um, you were going to say, you were going to say, t -t 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 Kerbal Math Academy. <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? I missed some things. Rate of warp. Warping seems legit. <laughs> Corbel Mass Academy. Claude was definitely right. Yeah, Claude was right. What number's higher? Okay, lunchbox. Here's what we were doing. Um, I had a note up. Actually, let me make a note for you because I, I love to explain these things. Let me just go ahead and uh, add maneuver. So I did that sort of deal, right? And I was transferring fuel until this number the amount of delta V in the current stage, according to Kerbal Engineer, was greater than this number. Remember when we began, this number was 900, this number was 700. That meant that I was going to run out of fuel in these side tanks before I actually finished that burn. So what I was doing is, as I was doing the burn, I was transferring fuel from this tank into the side tanks. And when I did that, watch, I'll actually demonstrate, I need to do it anyways. Transferring fuel from that tank to this tank, from the central core, which it can't access because it doesn't have a fuel line, out to this tank. Watch what happens to my delta V over here. I'm just going to do out and out. And as I move fuel over to where it's accessible by this engine, my delta V goes up. I'm going to pull the same trick from the other side. This is why I like to use the bigger tanks, but I didn't have them yet when I built this vessel. There we go. Now I've got 370. Same story going in the other direction. If I transfer fuel out to this tank and fill it up. Wow, I actually emptied it. If I transfer that fuel out to that tank, look at my delta V going up. That's because that fuel is becoming accessible by that engine. Um, so I was comparing the amount of fuel I needed to complete my burn to the amount of fuel currently available, or the amount of delta V I needed to complete my burn to the amount of delta V currently available to the engines. And once I got this one bigger, I knew that I could stop transferring fuel. Um, that wasn't exactly correct because if I had transferred it only to one side, one engine would have flamed out because it would have ran out of fuel. The delta V may have been higher because one the other engine on the other side might have been able to complete the burn, but we would have been spinning out of control. That's why I was switching my fuel flow. I was switching it from one side to the other. That is what I was doing right there. So let me just go ahead and finish this. Let's see how much delta V... Oh, wait. I'm going in the wrong direction, apparently. <laughs> That's freaking fantastic, Doss. Way to go, buddy. Way to go, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the node number. Right, thanks. Just because Poison Gold, everybody who I see streaming or I see in other channels, I go and I see if they stream Kerbal Space Program. And that's what I was doing. I go and I look around for other people to stream because, honestly, at some point I'm going to be recruiting other Space Academy instructors. So I'm looking for people who are interested in that. So I am always checking other people's channels. Just just to uh, keep that in mind that DOS may be spying on you when you're when you're streaming. I do make the rounds in the Kerbal Space community. There we go. Let's fill up that tank. Wow, that engine right there almost ran out of fuel. Did y'all see that? If that engine had ran out before we finished the burn, the craft would have spun out of control and we would have had a final time of it. But now that I have totally tanked this up. Yes. Yes, we already burned 700 meters per second delta V. We have another 900 meters per second of delta V, and we haven't even emptied these tanks out yet. Is that top tank empty totally? Yes, we haven't even emptied those tanks. And we refilled those, didn't we? We did refill those. Outstanding. 10 of 10 explanation. Lunchbox. Dude, that's why I'm here. I like people to ask me questions. Um, I am absolutely totally down with people asking questions. So let's see here. We've got Minmus. We're not going to burn that node. Look at this encounter at Minmus. I love this encounter we have. <laughs> we are so close to Minmus. 300,000 meters. That's freaking bueno. Let's go ahead and set an alarm clock for our sphere of influence change. Add. Kerbal alarm clock. That was insanely loud <laughs> on my stream. Good lord. Dude. Syntax eater with the donation. Thank you so much for that, man. I totally appreciate the donations. It is absolutely awesome. I, I really want to spend a lot of time on this. 
we're working on a website. We want to get a website up. It's going to cost money to host a website and that sort of stuff. Um, I want to have the schedule on there. I want people to be able to schedule. Oh, I want to be there on Thursday because he's going to be doing space planes. Um, and all of the donations are going to make that possible. That's so freaking cool. Thank you so much, Syntax Eater. Great streams, learning a lot. Learning a ton. Thanks. Dude, you are awesome. Thank you for the support. Let us continue on. Ooh, I was adding an alarm. That, like, <laughs> I need to turn that app down a little bit because it is really freaking loud. It, like, made me wince. I don't know if you saw it here. Let's bump the volume down to about 33% so it doesn't blow my eardrums every time somebody, uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Let's see here. We've got that. We've got that. Setting this up. I'm going to set it one minute out. That's fine. Add alarm. Minimize alarm clock. Love you, Kerbal Engineer. Don't need you right now. And let us go to the Minmus. Make sure that... I, where's the sun? All right. I think I got... I, have, I think I have pretty good solar panel coverage. I could have put two panels down on the bottom. But I think we're good from a solar panel electric charge perspective. Let's get on out there, y'all. Oh, I'm totally empty on my Dr. Pepper. That's so lame. <laughs> Mighty Mouse, yeah, I don't, uh, dude, Muddy Unders, take it easy. Hey, I, Muddy Unders, I don't know exactly what games you stream, um, but I know you stream games apart from Ker Kerbal Space Program. If you guys like watching other streamers, Muddy Under is a good streamer. You can click on his name right there. Whoa, not there. You can click on his name right there because he posted in chat. You should totally click on his name like that. Well, don't click unfollow. You should click follow <laughs> like you have in yours. Um, I actually don't know if you can see that part. Yeah, you can't see that part on my screen. Now you'll be able to see it. Click follow on Muddy Under's name. Muddy Under's is awesome. He has supported me. I want to support him. Muddy, thank you. Hope you got to see our rocket launch. Take it easy. <laughs> let's see here. Fast forward on out to Minmus. Let's watch the orrery. I love that Minmus pass. That's a really awesome Minmus pass. I did not plan that. And to get a Mooner encounter after the Minmus pass like that, that's freaking nuts. Four days, three days. That was like a perfect Minmus transfer. 295 on the pass. That is a really awesome pass. But Kerbal Alarm Clock should get a hold of me. Thank you, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Minmus should be coming up in our rearview mirror here. Thank you, sir. Let's go watch Minmus. Look at Minmus. We're right there coming out to her. We are going to need to uh, cross into the Sphere of Influence, which is really, really, really soon. Let's just get on up there. You know me. I don't really like really time warping at high rates of time warp past the uh, Sphere of Influence changes. The way it calculates physics, there are some gaps in the calculations, and sometimes when you time warp, it can throw you off. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and do a capture maneuver right here. Don't need your printer soon. Remember to capture at a planet. All you really need to do... Ooh, actually. Before then, let me do a little bit of a uh, course correction here. That looks a little bit better. Five meters per second in six minutes. Let me do that first, because I want to try and come in equatorial around Minmus. It'll make our rendezvous easier with our science ship. Is that equatorial? It's going to be still inclined a little bit, but we'll be coming in a little bit equatorial at least. I could have fixed that before, I guess. But at least we're crossing Minimus's... Are we? Focus on the node. Precise node. Let me see my node. Thank you. That's pretty much crossing the equator, I would guess. A little bit higher than the equator, maybe. One of the things that I like about the new version of Kerbal Engineer is that it tells me my time to ascending or descending node. That should be pretty close. Um, right now, with Minmus, I have no way of actually figuring out how to get an equatorial orbit. I just have to play it by ear. I can't really plan it. But let's go ahead and do this correction burn. I think I'm going to burn north. Up. Not north. I always say north. I burn solar. Even, yeah, I burn solar north, I guess I could say. It's north. Whatever. <laughs> And I can actually just do this correction right now. I don't have to wait. This is one of those maneuvers where the timing doesn't exactly matter. Um, because I'm out here, I just want to change my inclination until I'm right about there. I can burn now. I'm going to change my orbit till it crosses Minimus's equator right like that. And then I'm just going to nuke that node. One of those ones where the timing doesn't really matter. Then I can come to here and I can do a capture burn. You know capture burns are just straight retrograde. And I want to set my Minimus periapsis to about 20. That's 11. I could set it, uh, well, let's say 15, 14. Now nah, let's set it to 20. 
because I am going to be going over a, oh yeah, you can click on this, little known fact, <laughs> I am going to be going over lots of rendezvous, so there we go, 20, that's going to be a 10 second burn in 2 hours, let's go ahead and get that set up, and after I do the circularization, I will check the chat, oh science, look, check it out, science says ding, crew report, EV report, material study, mystery you, let's do all of them, let's get all of this stuff, 20 science for that, outstanding, EVA report, alright, let's EVA jab, let's do an EVA report, EV report, EV report. 32 science for that EV report. I'm liking how this is shaping up already. Get back in, Jeb. I got more science to do. A material study. I'll do it in a mystery goo observation. Is it going to do those? 100 science for the material study. And 100 science for the mystery goo? No, that was the material study. Keep. I didn't see what I got for the mystery goo. Huh. Did I do the mystery goo? Is there a goo container open? Yeah, that goo container is open right there. Awesome. That is freaking cool. So, let's see here. We need to be setting up for our capture burn. Let's go find that. Luckily, these pods have enough torque. Luckily, they have enough torque. Another feature I can't wait for, the feature in .25, the enhanced nav ball, basically, that uh, tells you which way to burn. I should have known to look retrograde. <laughs> Duh. It's going to be a 10-second burn. It's coming up in two hours. Actually, I already passed one burn. I already screwed one burn up. Add an alarm. Here's a new trick. We figured this one out during the help desk yesterday. This is a 10 second burn. That means I'm going to have to burn it 5 seconds. I'm already pointing at the blue line. Why don't we just set the alarm for 10 seconds before the burn? And then just time warp. More time warp. And where is it going to put us? Screet! 5 seconds away from where I need to burn. Now keep in mind the clock keeps ticking when that little window is up. So you got to go fast. But just setting it five seconds in front of the burn puts me exactly where I need to do the burn. Make sure you're pointed to the blue thing, by the way. You d d d definitely want to be pointed at the blue thing. All right, engineer, what's my periaps? Periaps, 2, 4, 2, 3, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 0. I love engineer because it makes it so easy to calculate, fix your, your burns and stuff like that right here from the screen. That's so awesome. I think the last thing... Where's my ship at? That's weird. Where's my ship? What just happened? Why am I focused on Minmus instead of... That's uh, interesting. Science upgrader. Uh... Where's my ship? What sort of dastardly bug is this? My ship has disappeared. I bet you it's still there. What the... <laughs> Has anyone ever seen this one before? I gotta say, I've never seen this one. Engineer's telling me my my timing's okay. But my ship, it's not this. There, it's there's a ship right there. Just show me the ships. What the deuce? Debris? Huh. Yeah, I accidentally, uh, <laughs> bug desk here. <laughs> I activated the cloaking device. I totally acti activated the cloaking device. I'm on the map. And here's the ship. This is the ship view, I guess. And this is... No, this is the ship view, and that's the map view. Let's go out to the Space Center. That's a weird bug, not gonna lie. I did. Yeah, I'm gonna go to KSC and back. Alrighty, good deal. <laughs> Apparently, uh, you snook a cling on a board. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go back out there and fly her and hope that that fixes it. Jeez, oh, Pete. Again, Syntax Eater... And Fukuda, Furious Fukuda, thank you for those donations. You guys are both awesome. Honestly, I will say this. Honestly, between those two nation, two donations, the, the two donations I just got, that's what I get for teaching kids science for one hour. <laughs> and I'm sitting here playing a video game. Dude, CLP, take it easy. Also, Bobcam, welcome. Let's go and fly this thing. Jeez, oh, Pete, that's so cool. Something, yeah, I don't know what it was. The, I couldn't find uh, the ship. Apparently the ship's back. Because it's back in black. <laughs> I couldn't be in that band. Oh, look, I could also change my inclination right now. Um, because I'm at the point in my orbit where I'm crossing the equator of Minmus, roughly, um, if I burn north, north is this way, if I point myself north on the nav ball, 
which is horizontal north, so this is at the horizon and this is north. If I burn right now, I can fix my inclination. Watch right here. It's telling me my, my inclination is 173. I'm apparently have on the downstroke of the inclination right now. When I get that to 180, it'll be flat. 75, 76, 77. Wow, that doesn't... Nope, 75. All right, I missed it a little bit. But I definitely fixed the, I fixed the orbit a little bit. I can burn in the other way to uh, fix it in the other way. What grade do I teach? I don't teach a specific grade. I run after-school science programs for kids um, for a company called Mad Science. So we do different science tracks experiments. Like I'm doing uh, fundamental forces. Fun, if you in space, dimental forces. <laughs> um, with one of my schools right now. But it is definitely a good time. I like doing the science with the kids. And it's good to see kids in, in excited about things other than freaking their iPhones. You know, that's such a big deal to me. Seeing the kids really excited about science experiments. And some of the kids, I, I do kindergarten through fifth grade is the age range. Typically more kinder, first, second. We lose some of them to sports after that. Um, there's 20 again. We lose some to sports after that. But, uh... Just to see the kids. Some of them are really freaking smart. I was like, when you jump up in the air, what, what pulls you back down? And they're like, ooh, gravity. And I was like, really? You know that? <laughs> I had a little levitating globe, and I was like, what's holding it up? And they're like, those are magnets. And I was like, no, it's magic. And they're like, no, it's not. It's magnets. It's just magnets. So I said, magnets, how do they work? And the kids didn't get that reference. <laughs> All right, just pull it into a circular 20, millim 20 millimeter orbit. <laughs> pull it into a 9 millimeter orbit here. 45 orbit. There we go. I'll take it. Good deal. That's going to be our next burn. We're already pointing the right way. Two hours, four minutes. Kerbal alarm clock. Burn's going to be two seconds. Let's just add an alarm. Ten seconds out. See what I did with alarm clock? The really cool thing about alarm clock is when I click on it to get its window and I click add, it realizes that the next important thing happening in this orbit is a node. It's so cool. It realizes that I've got a node on the orbit and I can change it right here. I can do zero, and I can do, let's just do 10 seconds out, add alarm. That's going to keep you from missing it. Let me time warp some, and let me read some chat. Let's see here. What do I level off to get for my splace? I totally missed that. What? Bobcam. Farming science on Minmus. Said hi, didn't answer your question. Or the camera, something happened. Yeah, safety glasses. That's I still have them on from science class. <laughs> from It's not class. It's not class. For my science program. Start deleting the... Yeah, there you go, porn. <laughs> Softcore. If you try to get rid of the mods, if you recently inc included some mods and it started making your thing crash, um, try to... <laughs> you get your salary. <laughs> nice, rhetoric. <laughs> I think I want south there. I, I want it north. I had to turn it back around. Am I the only one? Thater! Oh, no, Thater! Refresh. Refresh. Did you lose video because of some reason? No, well, I don't have it running. I just have the channel up. I think I got that one. What we did, splain. What did you ask? When did I level off? I can't see the question because you didn't put DOS. Oh, no, you did. You did. There it is. At what level do I level off to get for my splace? Caboose, I have no clue what that question even is. <laughs> your brother, Bob Can, your brother was in mad science, like as a student or as an instructor? I, I don't know how old you are. I don't know your brother. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's the company that I uh, work for. Gav, I completely I completely. Oh, no. Yeah, kindergartners have iPhones. You should see some of these kids. They can't get them out from in front of their face. And it's like, dude, seriously, there's real things in the world. Plus, I, I'd like to see more kids getting interested in science. I'd like to see more girls getting interested in science, too. My, I have a daughter. Um, but mad sci the, the science, the after-school science programs are totally cool. And Kerbal Space Program is totally cool. I think Kerbal Space Program is one way that uh, kids can get interested in science. That's another reason I don't think Kerbal Space Program needs to be too realistic. We've already got the hook. My daughter loves watching me fly these rockets. She loves watching me play Kerbal Space Program. Um, what kind of qualifications? You have to be a good public speaker. You have to be comfortable around kids and uh, probably not much of a uh, criminal record, I guess. <laughs> um, I just saw on Facebook that they were uh, that they were looking, and I went and applied, and they said, sure. They hired me on the spot. I like science. <laughs> Smartphone. You know something, Peter? Oh, Peter. Oops, science. Science. Ding. Science. 
It just went bloop, bloop, in my headache, in my head. Ooh, look, we're in low minimus orbit now. Let's do a crew report for 20 science. Let's do the other material study for 100 science. Let's do the mystery goo for 40 science. Wow, this makes it so easy. It's almost like cheating. Let's do the temperature scan for 32 science. Let's do the EVA report. Oops, we have to EVA Jeb, I guess. Maybe, maybe it's broken because he's not in the root node or something. EVA report. 32 science. Wow, how much science have we already gotten? That is a really cool mod. I'm not going to lie. That is a really cool mod. Oops, there's another one. What is this? Are these all EVA reports as I go over biomes, aren't they? Oh, that's totally what's happening. All right, I'm going to handle those on the way down. Over the Midlands, yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Look, here's another one. Oh, we already got this one? I must have skipped over some... All right, this is a little confusing now. EVA again. Now it's making noise. EVA report over the Highlands. Get back in. Wow, that's really cool that it keeps popping up. It's a little bit confusing. I was just going to land at each biome, <laughs> honestly, but this is a lot easier, I guess, because we can transmit all those back. Silverack, take it easy. Thanks for joining me, as always. <laughs> okay. Lost video refreshed. It reloaded. That's cool. What's the mod? It's loading when it crashes. Oh, yeah, there you go. You work as a camera... <laughs> Wait, what? You work as a camera operator for med students. You work live encounters. Interesting. That is a very interesting lie. HB33 Green. Thanks for enrolling in Kerbal Space Academy. We are doing... It did disable the goo. I had two on it. Interesting. Um, we are doing science farming on Minimus. I've also got a new mod installed, the Science Alerter mod. I did not get a link for it put in my channel yet. If somebody could grab a link for it and put it in the channel, I would appreciate it. Let's go ahead. We're three minutes, 30 seconds out. Let's do the circularization burn. I feel like I may have missed something in chat. Here's more science. But I bet you it's another EVA report. I'm not really worried about the EVA reports here. EVA report over the Midlands. We already got that one. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so that's a little annoying. That is honestly a little annoying. Here it is again. You shut up. I got a circularization burn to do in a minute. And I'm looking good. Yep, I'm going to be 10 seconds on. I'm going to be close enough to circularize, and we're going to put ourselves... Ah! Delete on close. Close alarm. Time for burn. Alarm clock minimize. Let's go ahead and burn this node. And here we are. In Minmus orbit. Thwoop. Circular. Circular enough. I'll take it. Time to Apo. Time to parry. Oh, we're almost coming up to Minimus here. 21. 20 by 20. I'll take it. You're so annoying. Stop with the EVA reports. I'll get the EVA reports, okay? Chill.